Hello, my name is Shine Ninzi, which means gold rose in Burmese, and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a full face using makeup from Amazon. So I know this isn't an original idea or anything like that, but I decided, you know what? Sometimes I like stuff to arrive quickly. Shipping is taking a lot longer than normal, not only because of the situation of the world, but it's also the holiday season and I like fast shipping and I'm an Amazon addict. Anybody else? I order everything and anything on Amazon. So I was like, why not order makeup on Amazon? There are so many brands on Amazon that you can get, like your normal ones like NYX, Maybelline, that kind of stuff, but I wanted to dive deep and pick makeup products that weren't necessarily normal or brands that I'm aware of at all. So these are like the real Amazon makeup goodies and I'm gonna test them out and see how they do on my face. I have House Laboratories, which is Lady Gaga's makeup line and it is sold on Amazon. So this is something, you know, like that's specific to Amazon. So I got um, an eyeshadow palette here. We've got a bronzer and highlight duo. I have her eyeliner and a lip color. So those are the things from House Beauty and, oh, Arlo is in the background as you can see. I have another brand that I found a couple things from, which is called Heem, Hen, Henme? H-E-M-E, Heme International. So I have, I think this is a blush. Yeah, we have a blush and a waterproof brow pencil. I've got some false eyelashes that I got on Amazon. We've got this naturally flawless oil controlling full coverage liquid foundation. I think that's here by Farah, Farah. So we've got that. I've got some concealer. These are these tiny little things. So it came with a blur primer and a full coverage concealer by Sace Lady, Sa Sace Lady, S-A-C-E. It also came with like a pot concealer as well. And then a beauty blender, which I'm not going to use since I already have beauty blenders, like our beauty sponges that I actually like from Amazon. So I'll be using that today as well. So those are all of the things that I got on Amazon. I didn't get powder or anything like that. Um, I ended up spending a lot of money. <laughs> so yeah, let's test these products out and see how they do on my face. Let's start with eyeshadow primer. And again, they have so many brands on Amazon. So I would assume they would have some type of popular you know, brand of eyeshadow primer. So I'm putting, this is the Milani eyeshadow primer, putting this on my eyelids really quick. I heard mixed reviews about the um, House Laboratory, so Lady Gaga's makeup brand. I've heard mixed things about it, so I'm interested to see how it wears. I'm gonna be using just a concealer. Um, this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. And this is going to be the base. You can hear my cats. This is gonna be the base for the eyeshadow. And I'll just blend that out with the beauty sponge here. So here is the eyeshadow palette. This is the Glam Room number one Fame eyeshadow palette. All of the names are on the back here. This one was actually on like a Black Friday special, which is why I got it. There's a huge mirror and then these are the colors. It's just a super natural, you know, palette. I don't like when eyeshadow palettes have the names on the back because it's like kind of hard to like, okay, this one is this one and I don't know if that's gonna be the right one. So I'm just gonna refer to it as like, what a color <laughs> looks like. I'm gonna go in with a Sigma E40 and that light brown shade, and this is going to be my transition. Oh, wow. That is way more pigmented than I was expecting. There's only four matte shades in this palette. There's a cream, a light brown, a dark brown, and then a black as the matte shades. I wish there were more 
matte shades in here and a lot of the lid shades are a bit dark for my skin tone so if you have a deeper skin tone than me i think those would work out for you you can hear the cats in the background playing <laughs> I'm going to be taking a E25, love this brush on. This is like their rose gold holiday collection. And I'm gonna take that darker brown and I'll put that here. And I'm gonna start to like wing out the eyeshadow, or at least I'm going to attempt to wing out the eyeshadow here. With my hooded eyes, I feel like it's really hard to do that, but it's all about practicing and trying different things out. I'm getting a lot of fallout too, but again, I don't really mind that because, you know, it's obviously a powder and I intend to pick up a lot of um, eyeshadow when I'm applying eyeshadow. I'm gonna take an angled brush let's see just any any angled brush you want to so like you know an eyebrow angled brush here any angled brush brush any angle no, no. <laughs> and i'm going to take that black shade and i'm going to like wing it out create a false wing And then I'm gonna go back in with that brown and just kind of like blend that out to the best of my ability. I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip and some liquid eye makeup remover and I'm gonna clean up the lid. And then I'll use a small concealer brush and whatever base you wanna use. I could be using the Amazon concealer, but I'm just gonna use whatever base I want and kind of cut out the crease. And then I'm gonna take that gold shade that's in the palette. Ooh, it's not like, oh, it's like a duochrome. Oh, I didn't expect that at all. Do you see it's like a duochrome gold and pink? Wow, I didn't expect that at all. I'm gonna go in with that sparkly red shade and kind of put that on the outside here and blend those two together. Oh wow, that's a very interesting, interesting, interesting shade. Hmm. And then I'll go in with the E25 and that brown, kind of blend all that together. And then I'll go in with that Q-tip again, and I'm just gonna clean up that black, that wing here. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, he's being a goomy. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do the rest of, or I'm going to do this eye off of camera, and I'll be right back. And then I'm going to highlight with that cream color. But yeah, super simple, and the eyeshadow isn't, you know, that bad. Like, it's very pigmented. Um, would I say it's anything special? No, I know she has other palettes that have different color stories. So maybe, you know, if you're interested in those, I would definitely check those out. But personally, I don't think I'm gonna keep this palette. <laughs> Time to dive in with the cool stuff, ah, the face products. I, I don't know how I feel about this. It says naturally flawless oil controlling long wear full coverage and up to 24 hour matte without the flat air light texture finish i got mine in the shade number 102 nude so hopefully this matches me oh we gotta try the primer okay the primer that came with the full coverage concealer this is the blur primer moisturizing soft smooth smooth fine lines this is so tiny like a clear primer with like flecks of gold in it so let's try this i don't know if you can see can you see the gold in it i don't know if you can or not but it's a little th thick oh 
I think it says silicone free, but this definitely does not feel silicone free. Is this silicone free? No, maybe it's not. The foundation was silicone free. I just feel like I'm gonna break out. Oh, that was probably too much. Oh no. It's all for the YouTube channel. It's all for the YouTube, right Leo? But wow, that definitely feels like, you know, the typical Smashbox, that really silicone-y feeling primer. Try this. Um, I'm gonna take the Amazon sponge. Okay, good. This is a good match. I was a little worried it wouldn't be a good match. Couldn't tell if I have fallout from it. Actually, that coverage isn't bad. Okay, Fuera. Fuera, however you say your name. <laughs> These sponges I really do like. They're a little bit tougher than like the Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques sponges, which I really, really like. Um, you know, they're a little bit harder as you can probably hear. <laughs> but I feel like they're one of the better, harder versions of sponge. I had a picking fest, so that's why I'm breaking out a little bit. But actually... Oh! Careful, Leo. I'm impressed. Wow. Let's see if a brush does anything differently. I'm gonna take just my typical Sigma F80 foundation brush. In the back of my mind, when I'm trying out new foundations, I'm always like, is this gonna break me out? Am I gonna be a giant zit? But again, it's for the tubes. It's for you guys. Yeah. What, Leo? Oh, it looks pretty good with the brush, too. I feel like I got the same amount of coverage. Let's try the concealer. So the full coverage concealer by Sace Lady. Sace, Sace Lady. So here it is. It's so tiny, it's so cute. And it comes in a pump. I've never seen a little concealer have a pump. There we go. That's probably a little too much. Oh. Oh. Oh no, that's probably way too much. Oh wow, this feels way thicker, Leo, than the foundation. This is in the color 01, if you can see there. The pump went up that much? Jeez, this is definitely a lot. This is gonna crease bad. I need to like try and remove some. It's all in my hair. <laughs> Swiping it on a paper towel here. But wow, look at this full face. Like I said, I didn't get any powder, so I'm just going to set um, my face with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder here under my eyes. I'm going to have to see how this looks, how the concealer looks with the powder. It doesn't look too bad, but it's just a little cakey looking. I would definitely go in with a lot less concealer next time. I'm going to set the rest of my face with the translucent powder as well just so it doesn't add any coverage or anything. What should we go in with next? Maybe we should finish under the eyes. So I'll go back in to the palette and I'll take that dark brown. We'll use that angled brush. Again, I'll just clean off some of the black, so I'll go in with that dark brown here. And then I'll blend, I'll blend it out with that lighter brown. Now there's a liquid eyeliner that I got. Where is it? Oh yeah, from House Laboratories. And I think this one's in a brown color. 
Demi Matte Liquid Liner in Whiskey. So I guess I think, oh yeah, it's a brown color. And this brush just feels so nice. So I'm just gonna line. curl my eyelashes here and just go in with whatever mascara you want to then while I'm waiting for the mascara to dry I'll go ahead and go in with the Hemi or Hemi um, eyebrow pencil they didn't have very many shades of this um, this one is caramel brown there was a different shade that I think would have been closer to my eyebrow color but they didn't have it this is supposed to be a waterproof pencil. So here is the eyebrow pencil. So one side, oh, it's like a slanted. So let's see, this is gonna be too light for me probably. Oh yeah, that's way too light for me. <gasps> and then a spoolie on of the other side, but I got it. So we're gonna try and do my eyebrows. There was like a dark black brown. I felt like that would have been too dark, but that probably would have been better than this. This is way too light. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is way too light. Ah! The pencil is actually super smooth to put on. Just not the right. Oh yeah, that is not the right shade. So I'm going to go in with the, I think the dark brown from the eyeshadow palette and this shade is a big no i'll be going in with my angled brush again and that dark brown maybe even a little black i don't know oh that's not even the right color either i'm actually just going with So these are faux mink eyelashes and they weren't that expensive so i thought i would give these a try i think it's all the same pair yeah the faux mink lashes Ooh, they're really soft they look really nice so i'll pop these on and i'll be right back wow these are like so comfortable there is like no lash band it's like the invisible um lash band but i'm just gonna fix my eyeliner on this side yeah, these are like super comfortable and i think the whole pack of them was like seven or eight dollars or something which is such a good deal like i've never heard of this brand before ethylin th oh three pairs 5d cruelty free lashes like I said, everything will be linked down below so don't worry about that let's go in with the base products so i've got the house laboratory heat spill bronzer and highlighter duo i'm not sure if this is going to be dark enough for me hopefully it will be leah what you doing so let's go in with the bronzer oh my gosh that is so powdery see all that powder it kicked up oh my goodness Yeah, I don't think this is dark enough for me. It's very, very subtle. I'll go in with the Hemi or Hemi blush in the color Dusty Rose. This is so tiny, like online it looked a lot darker. So like here is the blush palette. This is like, it's super, super small. It's like a dark berry on line, but it's more of a light pink. What you doing? Leah, Leah, he's eating the Amazon packaging. That's really, really light. Here. Oh, very powdery. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, but that's so pretty. Oh, wow. I would keep this if the bronzer was darker because that highlight is beautiful, but 
the lip color by house laboratory and this is in the shade la riot it's a lip gloss I looked more nude online this doe foot applicator is weird what's wrong yeah it's definitely a more peachy pink in person and it looked more nude online but it doesn't it's a little sticky but not too too bad all right i'm gonna spray my face with the catrice hd setting spray lock it in place and there we have it the full face of amazon makeup i'm gonna keep this on as long as i can um and the time right now it's actually early in the day you guys proud of me it is 11 30. look at me filming so early in the day so i'll check back in with you guys later hello the time is now 8 14. i started wearing the foundation or I ended the last clip at 11.30, and so it's been about, what, seven and a half hours or so, and a little over seven and a half hours, and the foundation actually looks really good. I am pleasantly surprised. I ended up wearing a mask for at least four hours, and all of the foundation came off of my nose during like the first um, three hours of wearing um, the masks. You can kind of see like I have some oh, you can see the line here on this side from wearing the mask this is definitely not transfer proof um, and the lip gloss came right off which I mean lip glosses don't last very long anyway but I mean it looks pretty good it is emphasizing some of the bumps on my forehead as you can see I'm getting a little bit of a pustule right here and throughout the day I felt like itchy on my chin so I don't know if that's the foundation or just the fact that I was wearing a mask all day but I'm very pleasantly surprised with how the foundation ended up looking um, and everything the concealer definitely did crease not as bad as I was thinking it was going to but um, yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the foundation and it wasn't very expensive at all. I really like these eyelashes a lot. They're super comfortable. They're a little long, so I needed to trim them, which was my fault, but they're very comfortable to wear. They're really natural looking like they're just, yeah, but the eyebrow color, the pencil I wasn't a huge fan of. My brows look good, but just the coloring and everything wasn't right. Um, but yeah, the bronzer and blush and stuff was a little too light for my liking, but I mean, not too bad. Amazon has some decent makeup products that you can get. Don't knock it till you try it. So let me know what you guys thought of this video. And if you want other like one brand tutorials or I get all of my makeup at Walmart or all my makeup at Target or something like that, let me know in the comments down below. I always try to read them um, and have an amazing night. Have an amazing day what, whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Shway Hinzy. I do have an Etsy shop as well. I sell stickers and other handmade goods on there. Um, I am planning to release some new items, which I'm really excited about. It's at Luna Moon Stickers if you want to follow me on Etsy or on Instagram. And that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye!